some of the most well-known quotations from the Bible come from the writings of a group of messengers who worked to call God's people to repentance during a time of national digression. Over time, these warnings went unheeded, and God allowed the nations of Israel and Judah to be overtaken by their enemies. In this video, we'll examine the work of the major prophets. There are five books in this group written by four prophets. These are referred to as the major prophets because their writings are longer in comparison to the minor prophets, but are of equal importance. The exception to this is the book of Lamentations, which is about 2,000 words shorter than Hosea, one of the longer minor prophets. Lamentations is listed with this group since Jeremiah is the author. The work of these prophets became prominent during the period of the divided kingdom spanning the destruction of Jerusalem and Babylonian exile. These books are addressed to Israel and Judah, as well as other nations that God would judge at a later time. Numerous references to Christ as the coming Messiah can be found in these writings, laying a foundation for the identity of Jesus as the Son of God. These books are Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations of Jeremiah or Lamentations, Ezekiel, and Daniel. Let's take a closer look at these books. Isaiah is often referred to as the Messianic prophet due to the number of prophecies concerning Christ in the book. Isaiah delivered warnings to both the northern and southern kingdoms, as well as other nations, including Egypt and Assyria. Jeremiah spans the period prior to the fall of the southern kingdom of Judah and afterwards. Warnings of the imminent judgment of God against the nation are made, as well as statements about pagan powers outside of Judah. Jeremiah foretold of the 70 years of the Babylonian exile before a remnant would return. The prophet also describes the future law that would be given, as well as changes in kingship and the priesthood which were fulfilled in Christ. Jeremiah wrote his lament over the destruction of Jerusalem and the southern kingdom of Judah. He mourns the loss of the beauty of the nation due to spiritual neglect on the part of the Hebrews. Jeremiah's life was one of hardship earning him the designation of the weeping prophet. Ezekiel was taken to Babylon and one of the first groups of captives. His warnings were sent back to the inhabitants of Jerusalem who held out hope that they would be delivered from the destruction of the nation that had been prophesied. Ezekiel addresses other nations as well as the captives taken to Babylon. The book uses highly figurative language that is often misunderstood and misinterpreted. Daniel was one of the first of the captives to be taken from Judah to Babylon. Daniel, refusing to corrupt himself in Nebuchadnezzar's service, seeks after God and is blessed with wisdom, including the interpretation of dreams. Daniel's life spans the entire 70 years of the Babylonian exile. Some of the visions that he receives are concerning the end times and, like some parts of Ezekiel, are often misinterpreted. In the next video, we'll review the minor prophets.